So this is the Jaguar F Pace. It is about time that Jaguar do make an SUV. It has been out for a little while, but they have only been making saloons. So, and they have finally made an SUV, and they have done a good job. The prices on this car can start at thirty-three thousand pounds. So depending on what country you're in, it can differ. And then with added options, it can cost upwards of forty thousand pounds. So the boot space in this car is enormous. It isn't as big as some rival cars such as the Land Rover Discovery Sport or the Audi Q7. You do get some useful features, like tie down tethering points, some netting to hold some precious items, a life saving spare wheel, a 12 volt socket, and a hook. But if all seven seats down, so if the second row of seats down, you get a lot of storage and it isn't the flattest so when you do put stuff across it does kind of stop and sit back down but that is all fine when you have like heavy like those mats that I just pushed down so in the back is a nice little story stop. so here in the back you get tons of space and it is so light and airy Thanks to the massive glass sunroof and the two very big windows. You do get a tiny legroom and a lot of headroom. So here in the middle seat, it is a bit firm and you do get the passengers behind the side of you, your, their shoulder. You, know, you don't really get a lot of footroom because of the... So here in the front of the Jaguar F Pace, it is all very neatly laid out. Jaguar have done a fantastic job of making this car look better than its rivals. But, what do you prefer the interior of? Range Sport, the Range Rover Evoque, Jaguar E-Pace, or Jaguar Rick? Comment down below. So, all these controls here are for the AC. And on the steering wheel, we've got controls to um, control the centre dials. So, you can just press OK and all that. And then you've got cruise control and lane assist control. And you've got a little lady. Let's talk to her. Hello. Welcome to the voice tutorial. For the next few minutes, you'll hear how you can use your we voice. We don't want to listen to her. So pretty much, it is all very nice in there. And it is very practical. So in the centre... So what is my verdict on the Jaguar F-Pace? Should you shortlist it, avoid it, or just go straight away and buy it? I think you should just straight away go and buy it. It is a lovely car for the price, and I think everyone would love it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you, see you in the next car review.